Okay, here we are, Babylon Boat Works. Uh, today we got a big job accomplished, but we ran into a snag. We mounted the trim tabs, these Lenkos, big ones, 12 by 18s, which really makes this boat perform, keeps the rear end up. Tremendous, trimming it off, it's, it's, they work beautifully. But, you know, we had to make these splash guards two inches wider, I guess, higher, because this boat was rigged originally from Mako with twins, so it has a 23 inch transom instead of a 25. Therefore, since we added two inches onto the splash guard, when we mounted the trim tabs in the proper position with a three quarters of an inch rise coming up from the bottom of the hull, the top mount interfered with the splash guard that we had cut. So we had to remove the splash guard, we had to cut a notch. Uh, finish it off nicely, round it off, then mount it, and so that, that was time consuming, and that's what happens. That's why working on boats, it's, uh, you know, never the same thing twice. Anyway, we got them mounted, I ran the wires, I made the internal connections where the wires have to join, ran them up under the console, also hooked up the bow light, made watertight connections back here in the bilge, ran that up into the console, mounted the trim switch up on the console on the dash and mounted the control box inside but I won't hook them up and run the trim tabs and test them until I have some battery and actually I might run it on a, on a battery tomorrow just to make sure the trim tabs work because we have had problems in the past. Uh, let's see, in addition to that uh, we also cleaned up the edges on the, uh, on the fish boxes uh, we did another few odds and ends, cut the points off of the screws that went through the uh, bilge hatch. Uh, George right now is cutting starboard backing plates for the pad eyes up in the front for the bungee cords. Um, we did a few other things, <laughs> like right now, like kind of forget all the stuff that we did. So it's all little things catching up from the day before. Uh, I'm still going to come in here uh, and finish this off with a smear of uh, 4000 UV white to cover up the uh, screw holes. Sometimes these stainless screws will produce a little bit of rust uh, and uh, you'll end up with a rusty streak. So I'm gonna try that, see how that works. We also added this board, this piece of stuff.